Electric drive, hydraulic drive, uh, you, you've heard them both. Uh, some companies specialize in one or the other. Um, for Sunny's ear, electric drive is nothing new. We've been building electric drive drive-through car washes for auto dealers and rental stores and um, uh, even auction houses. That's not new for us. We've been doing that for a while. Uh, the rollover car wash, uh, we've uh, started that four years ago. We've got a number of them out in the field, all electric drive. So driving our brushes electrically, that's, a, that's been done for a while. Doing it the way Sunny's does it, that's a little bit different. Um, there's multiple reasons to be electric. Uh, some of them are to lower your utility costs, and sometimes it's try to expand your car wash and offer a new service like an express lane, and you only have a limited amount of power coming to the building. To add another service to the building is a very large expense. If you're running hydraulically, we can certainly run more equipment electrically than we can hydraulically. So at Sunny's, everything that we do here, naturally, retrofittable. My first full electric line that I did for a customer was out in Utah. Uh, a customer has been in the business for a very long time, a very computer savvy, built his own controller. He wanted the ability to speed up his car wash operation from home. So with video cameras and uh, electronic controls and VFDs, he asked me to build him a full line of electric, including the conveyor. And we did it. And uh, it's been running flawlessly for over five years. And he can sit at home, and if his employees call and they're busy or he looks in the camera, he's gonna call them up and say, I'm gonna speed the conveyor up by 15 cars an hour. I'm gonna adjust your wrap rounds, your top brush, your rocker brushes, and we're gonna let you roll. And he can do all that from home. So that's a very neat feature to have. Um, our equipment here, we, we've done it uh, two different ways. And most of our equipment can handle both. We can do it with off-the-shelf U.S. components, um, as in Winsmith gearboxes that you can buy the replacement parts at Granger, and that's the way we did all the first ones. Electric drive, again, a couple of options depending on the cost and uh, the amount of money we can spend on a, on a, on a project. This is a Winsmith gearbox uh, made in the U.S., available through Granger if need be. Uh, this is a Maximizer series, which is white epoxy paint, which is different than you'll find on most of the Granger stores. This is one of our SF1 brushes here, electric that are utilizing the Flender gearbox. Uh, we put this together because in this application, in this design and format, we've eliminated the actual bearings that were supporting the shaft in the hydraulic drive unit. Uh, this is mounted directly to the top of the motor mount plate, utilizing a couple of vibration isolator pads. So as the brush gets uh, pulled up, as it usually will on a tire of a pickup truck or in a wheel well, it's got vibration is isolation mounts that'll help take the shock load away from the bearings that are in the gearbox. Um, doing this here will extend the life of the gearbox. It'll take the pressure off it. It'll run for a long time with uh, headache free, with very little bit of maintenance um, and very low operating cost. Um, this is a product that's made in Canada, but it's used in a lot of rollovers and a lot of in-bay automatics and from a couple other OEMs. Um, it's a nice little gearbox assembly because it's IP66. It's good for the wet environment. Um, the overhung load in the bearings is good enough to support the entire brush shaft with the cloth on it. The center line of the, of the gearbox we've maintained through the center line of the universal joint. This bearing box is designed to handle both this motor as well as with these mounting holes, our Winsmith, which is our U.S. made gearbox. So depending on your need or your desire, we can give you either option and do the same service. Um, it's retrofittable. The same gearbox here is what we use for our bearing mounts for our hydraulic drive. So this is very flexible in the sense that we can use this for multiple different applications. Um, we get all of the pieces done the same one, so we can upgrade from electric to hydraulic or from hydraulic back to electric if we need to. A uh, real nice piece, again, all aluminum body, uh, watertight connection uh, for, for the electrical, uh, a nice little unit. And again, not new to Sunnies or not new to the industry. When I grew up with my dad, my job in the morning on the way to school sometimes was to grab a motor and drop it off at the motor shop because all the brushes were motor driven. The difference was they weren't direct drive gearboxes, they were coupled to a double, double chain and two sprockets. Either the chain and sprocket would break or the motor would fail, but we rebuilt these motors on an ongoing basis. That's how we ran the car wash. They left for hydraulics because it was easier to change speeds and adjust controls, it was very smooth. And now the, the innovation of the variable frequency drive, the simple functionality of being able to speed up or slow down a piece of equipment through a little a uh, potentiometer on, on the front of a motor starter makes the operation easy. Um, some of the smart drives can actually sense an overload and retract on a trailer hitch or on the side of a car before they cause any problems. They'll try to restart themselves again and come back to work. Um, our rollover has been doing that for, for two and a half years and works very well. 
so we don't have any downtime. We, we get caught on a trail hitch, we retract, we start up, we wash again. It takes two tries before it'll fail and call the owner and say he's down. And uh, because it does that, we have more a better uptime percentage in our rollover than most of others do. Um, the conveyor. Uh, first time I did it, it was expensive. We used Winsmith. We designed the gearbox uh, to be bulletproof and big and over over uh, engineered. And I've had a couple of customers ask me for it again. They didn't want to spend that kind of money. So instead of designing one myself and building components in my shop to make two gearboxes that were unrelated together, I called uh, our friends at Hico. You know, we're big customers there. We do a lot of business, and I told them that they're we're, we're leading towards this electric drive business. And I don't want to lose the, the gearbox business because the gearbox from Hico has been a great piece of equipment. Um, they embraced the idea, and over the last year and a half, we have finally developed a, uh, a, gear, a, a Hico gearbox uh, with a coupling that they manufacture that they'll provide here in the U.S. And, and a secondary gearbox that we can put into any one of our Sunny's conveyors. We can actually unbolt your Hico plate, Hico drive, and bolt this unit in, take out the power pack, and put it in a motor starter, and you'll be electric drive. Um, in a couple of hours. And it uh, runs real nice, real smooth. Um, we can uh, run that unit, the one I, the test unit is running anywhere from 30 cars an hour up to 160 cars an hour chain speed. Um, flawlessly, no problems. Again, with the smart VFD, you can actually set it, if it overloads and someone puts a foot in the brake and causes it to over amp, we can pause that conveyor and then start up again in two seconds. And hopefully that customer has take the foot off the brake and move along and we keep running without jumping a roller. So we have that kind of flexibility and functionality that we can build into it, and um, it'll be a great option. Um, the biggest thing I see coming up is the retrofits. If you want to add more equipment and you're out of electrical supplies, this is the way to do it. And as with Sunny's, call us up, we can build you the components to retrofit your hydraulics to electric. For two wraparounds, we can run, you know, with that one power pack, we can run two more sets of brushes and keep going down the line, be able to add an extra blower with that energy savings, or even an electric wheel brush if we have to. I think you'll be real happy with this. If you're interested, go online, go to sunnysdirect.com or call the 800 number and talk to one of our sales associates and they'll help to explain it to you.